Hi, remember yesterday we read the day the crayons quit? So today I thought would be a good day for the day the crayons came home. Hmm. This one's also by Drew Daywalt. The pictures again are by Oliver Jeffries. Jeffers, sorry. Looks pretty similar to the inside pages of the day the crayons quit. Oh, well, that's interesting. Hmm. Two pages. The day the crayons came home. One day, Duncan and his crayons we're happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Hello from the rug. Hmm. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Cran. You only colored with me once to draw a scab or, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. That must have been very traumatic. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as pea green. I love peas. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great family vacation we had? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly, you do not because I am still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, red, neon red crayon. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun. Hot, that's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends, yellow and orange. You ever left a crayon in the sun and had it melt on you? Mm. Hey, Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me. After the horrors I've been through, I was tan crayon. Or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. 
I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon. Now, can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan, or possibly burnt sienna, crayon. Oh my goodness. I have definitely had that happen to crayons before. Sorry, I'm just having a difficult time today. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey, Duncan, remember last Halloween, we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow-in-the-dark crayon. Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon. Neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Hmm. been to New Jersey before. It doesn't look like New Jersey to me. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you I'd, it'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now, I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. Here you'll see he's saying, I had to write it for him. This is not fun for me either, you know. Oh, there's the page he colored. Look at all of those gold coins. No wonder he's not sharp anymore. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's raining. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. Looks like outside here. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because the last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Have you ever had that happen at your house? Yeah. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top off my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkey? 
Picasso said every child is an artist, mm, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate friend, big, chunky, toddler crayon. Sorry, the garbage men are outside, so Franco needs to bark. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest, making great time. I think I'm almost home, neon red crayon. Okay, I've never been to the Amazon rainforest, but I don't think it looks like that. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you use to color, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great but did it really need that front final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. Uh, it says, Bear Goes in the Woods by Duncan. No wonder he's embarrassed. Duncan was sad to learn all of the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years, so he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. And all their postcards. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. And it says, there's no dogs down there. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me. It's not real chocolate. Oh, look, here's white. Let's have a party. But I'm not really blue, more lilac. I think that door is for us. Ah, there you are. I could use a haircut. So could I. Oh my goodness. No, I think everyone is welcome. I hope there will be a metal, won't be a metal detector. Looks good, lads. Who are you wearing? Um, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted. I just noticed, uh, remember from yesterday's book, how embarrassed Peach was about being naked. Not anymore. And then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is not in Cleveland, is it, friends? Oh my goodness. you enjoyed it. If you have any lost crayons out there, any damaged ones, take care of them.